questions? Any comments? Yes. Just a little bit. Okay. I'm curious if you can explain what made you decide to be part of this project. You mean the movie? The movie yeah, the, the project the movie. Okay. Well, um, I'm a writer, and so I uh, really appreciate the struggles of uh, that artist face. Uh, I came to Canada seven years ago with uh, my family, my mother being one of uh, the people who moved. And um, like when we were deciding on which topic we want to discuss in our movie, um, we thought, okay, so artists have two different set of challenges. You're already struggling if you're an artist, and you get faced with, um, okay, so what do you do? I'm a writer. And, okay, so what do you really do, you know? And um, so that's a set of challenges. And then there's the challenges of being a newcomer to a country. So I thought, we thought, newcomer artists probably have double uh, the challenges. and, and we want to go out and speak to all these people and, and find out what they have to say. Um, originally, I'm, uh, I'm a medical doctor, but I always had a passion for arts. I wanted to be a painter when I graduated from high school, but this was a, not an option in our family because they said drawing and painting is, your, is a hobby. You can do it in your spare time. <laughs> so you have to be a doctor because I come from a family where all my family members are doctors. So I didn't have an option really. So I always had this passion and my dream. Uh, and this project helped me to prove to myself, not to anybody else, that my gut feeling all the way was right, that I have this love for art and I was uh, gifted in some way to be able to do this film. So I'm glad I did that. One thing, I, I just want to thank uh, our interviewees for sharing their stories with us and helping us to make this come to reality. So I can see here Wafa and Rawi, so can you please stand up? Thank you. Thank you. And Carlos Rodriguez from the Vintage. Thank you very much. I, I really appreciate your film, especially as a take on art as you spoke earlier. Uh, do you have plans for a follow-up future? Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay. Um, well, I've uh, recently been exploring slam poetry, and uh, I think <laughs> some of my friends in the audience have seen this. So I don't know. We were talking about maybe, maybe trying to do something with film and, and the spoken world. That's so very exciting. we'll see. Yeah. So they have that done. Oh yes, I know they're awesome. Yes. How long did it take you to shoot all this? How long was the process for this project? Oh well, it was uh, four weeks, right? Uh, uh, the uh, eight. Weeks. Well, the whole the whole program was eight weeks, but the actual filming part was two weeks. Two weeks. Was it? Two weeks, and there were three three um, different films two uh, camera kits, so they had to share off. Mm -hmm. and, and so we, was it two weeks or three weeks? Anyway, I can't quite remember, but it was two weeks of pre-production and training, and then two weeks of filming, and two weeks of editing. Yeah, but that was it. It's incredible, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. I, just, I just want to say that uh, one of the challenges that we didn't have as a team uh, mother and daughter, we lived together, and so uh, there wasn't the scheduling that all the uh, other <laughs> teams had to go through. We were like, okay, mom, eight o'clock, uh, buy the fridge. So <laughs> I just want to say I'm really proud of my mother um, for doing this. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, Yes, we are all incredibly proud of them. I think this is an astonishing achievement to do in such a short period of time, honestly. We were quite knocked out. We were totally knocked out when we saw this. So, um, 
But it is also my hope, as I have told the women ad nauseum, I'm sure they are sick of hearing me say this to them, but I'm going to say it again, because I want all of you to be witnesses. I keep saying to them, I hope now that you will be like a small video collective in Hamilton. You have all these skills, you have all these training, you have all these communities with thousands of stories, because everybody has a story, and I hope everybody will call on them so that they will use those skills. And um, we want to uh, acknowledge all the work that they've done, and so we have certificates for each of them, plus I believe the, in the Michelle and Nazia from the Immigrant Women's Center also have something to give them. We so if they will all come up, everybody who participated in the program. suggested that I read out what the certificate says. I don't have my reading glasses, so. Oh, okay. All right, certificate says, Skyworks Charitable Foundation, this certifies that, name of person insert here, has successfully completed her participation in the Hamilton Newcomer Women's Filmmaking Project and is therefore awarded the Certificate in Community-Based Video Production dated 24th of September, 2014. Congratulations to all of you, and uh, just amazing working with you. Amazing. Thank you very much.